welcome to my mini series about the top things to do in Dubai. We took a cruise to Dubai and decided to stay there for three nights to explore some of what the Emirate has to offer. In this episode, we take a hot air balloon ride over the desert just outside the city. When we visit somewhere new, we like to find exciting things to do, and so we couldn't miss the opportunity to ride in a hot air balloon over the Dubai desert. Our journey started very early in the morning so that we could enjoy the sunrise from the air. This meant being picked up from our hotel at around 4am in order to get to the desert, have our safety briefing and into the air before the sun came up. Dubai is situated in the Arabian Desert, which covers 900,000 square miles. As we gradually ascended, we took in the vastness of the desert landscape. We climbed higher as we started to cross the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. Our pilot Richard described this as being very green, and I suppose it was for a desert. This is a permanently protected area to protect the natural environment and preserve the animals that are found here. Our hot air balloon descended lower so that we could see the nature reserve closer. We got so low it felt like we were actually sailing through the desert. It was really important that the hot air balloon didn't land in this area as it would have received a huge fine for landing in the nature reserve. But this was a perfect time to watch the falconry display. More interesting than the high level flights is you have a, uh, a place to have a bit of perception. <laughs> It was just fascinating to look out at the desert views. Despite reaching quite a height, we never felt nervous. So guys, when I see this fence, I'm one of the happiest people in the world. It means I can land almost anywhere. It's not a problem, this fence just here. This was our first time in a hot air balloon and we're so pleased we bit the bullet and booked this trip. The whole experience was incredible. As we got closer to our landing spot, we passed over a farm with livestock and crops of cucumber and rocket, proving that things can still grow in a desert despite its harsh climate. It's probably worth mentioning at this point that it was day one of Ramadan and our landing spot was the mosque car park, so we would need to be on our best behaviour when we landed. Alright guys, landing positions please. Yeah, everybody put your safety belts on and take the landing position. And you look at the camera with me. Hold the ropes with both handles, please. Look back this way, please. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, here we go. So touch and bounce like three, two. Wow. And, uh, 
Excellent. All right, perfect, guys. You guys all right? You can stand back up. It was a bumpy landing, but it all added to the experience. We want to thank Richard from Balloon Adventures Emirates for this unforgettable experience. This excursion included hotel transfers, balloon ride with falconry display, followed by breakfast in a Bedouin village. In total, the trip was 1,195 dirham, or £262 each. Despite it being our most expensive excursion whilst in Dubai, we would have regretted it if we'd passed on it. <laughs>